players. So Jaleel White is currently getting dragged all over the Fresh Prince internet, and I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you. The way he's promoting his book, it's going to be studied in about 20 years because I swear he ain't doing nothing but ruffling feathers and making asinine comments all over the place. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about it. So as we all know, Jaleel White has written a book and with that comes a book tour. So Jaleel has been scurrying around to every single podcast, radio show, television show, anybody that will allow him to sit down and talk about his experiences in Hollywood and his book. But with him now opening his mouth, baby, the congregation of the internet streets is giving him the side eye. He's made several comments that have made the congregation be like, uh? He made some comments about black women in Hollywood. He made some comments about why he didn't want to do the reboot of Family Matters because he felt like people would be more interested in his memoirs. Um, uh, There's been a few comments, but the latest one, Baby, the congregation is riding down. So Jaleel says he often feels left out of the legacy of black entertainment. He also said, and I quote, if it's not a hood story, it's not a black story. And he also said that Family Matters is always ranked last on the polls for favorite black shows underneath Martin and Living Single. So from what I gather for what Jaleel is saying is within black entertainment in the black community, the only credible stories are hood stories the only ones that are successful now i'm gonna go ahead and keep it a stack with you i don't know what the hell jaleel was talking about or what he was watching in the 90s because there was literally no hood stories uh within those black sitcoms that were popular in the black community they weren't hood stories living single which he referenced they lived in a brownstone Khadijah was an entrepreneur. She owned her own magazine company. Uh, Kyle was a stockbroker. And Max was a lawyer. The Fresh Prince, Uncle Phil, was a lawyer. Uh, Aunt Viv was a college professor. They lived in a mansion in Beverly Hills. What is he talking about? I don't get this. Uh, Martin, Gina was a high-powered executive. She was highly educated. Martin was a radio show host. So what is these hood stories? Because I'm not really understanding it. And going back to the Fresh Prince, they were a nuclear family. So I'm really not understanding what he means by hood stories. Is it because Family Matters, I guess you would call it a little bit more wholesome than those shows. But at the end of the day, they were all wholesome. I'm just not understanding what he's trying to say with this. And baby, the congregation of the internet streets is dragging him by his nose hairs. And rightfully so, because <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. In these interviews... Jaleel seems very narcissistic. He also seems anti-black. But players, I really want to know what you all think about his comment uh, because they dragging the hell out of him for it. Uh, y'all let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Black Here News.